Hi guys, what's up? Hope you're all keeping well. Thank you for tuning back in to my YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. For today's YouTube video, I will be creating this eye makeup look and I literally will go through all of the products and exactly how, step by step, on how to achieve this. Honestly, it looks like it's a complicated look, but it really isn't. You literally can do this yourself. So stay tuned and watch exactly how we achieve this. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go in with my brow pencil and literally and I'm using my brow rose by Anastasia in the colour dark brown. <laughs> comb through and then I'm just going to go in with my soap brows and just apply some clear soap on top and this just helps make it look well. I'm going to apply my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer onto the lids of my eye and use this as a primer for my eyeshadow and I'll also be using this to tidy up my eyebrows that I've just done. I will then just go in and apply some translucent powder to set my concealer that I've just applied. The palette that I'll be using today is the Jaclyn Hill Morph palette and I've just gone in with the shade Comfort Zone and I'm applying this directly into my crease and then just blending it in circular motions. I'm gonna go in with G-Money and mix that with Home Body and then apply this to my crease line. And as I'm applying it, I'm slightly bringing this over my crease and onto my lid. And then I'm just gonna go in with a second blending brush and then literally just buff out my edges so that it looks seamless. That's the trick guys, like every time you are applying product and you feel like it's not blending, you always go in with a clean blending brush and then just buff away the excess on the edges and then it just starts looking more seamless all over again. Now I'm gonna go back to my Copper Spice palette and go in with a deeper brown and apply this to my crease line. Now you might have to go in a couple of times until you get the perfect shade of brown and this is really really important guys because this is the base for when your gold comes onto your eyes and at this stage we're not applying any black we just want to perfect the base color once again i'm going to go in with a clean brush and just blend out the edges so using a more pointed brush, I'm literally going to apply some black gently into the corner of this eye. But as I'm doing this, I'm creating a triangular motion around this area. And my focus is to try and bring in the black instead of sweeping it away and then take the black up and down in circular motions around the corner of my eye. Now what this will do is it will create a triangle for you, which will be sort of your base to create a nice transition to make it look nice and smoky on the edge. So this is also a process that you've got to do a couple of times until you get the correct level of darkness that you're searching for. So like I was saying, if you go in with too much black straight away, you might end up getting too much depth in the edge which you might not be looking for especially if it's not an evening look so it's always good to just gradually apply blend and then apply again i'm going to go in with a little bit of g money and bring that back over the black back in with a bit more brown just on this part of my eye here. Once again I'm going to go back in with black and I'm, 
I'm now applying this as if I was applying a liner. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start smoking this out. And I'm just gonna keep blending this. Don't worry about this bit here because we will clean that off. So that's not a problem. What our focus is, is everything above that point. I'm just gonna go in with a blending brush and just blend this. Once you've got this transition going from your eyeshadow and you've got like a good amount of brown going on you want to then move on to this next stage which is where we apply gold onto our eyes so the first shade that i'm going to go in with is talia and i'm literally just applying this on top of my eye and it's like a glitter shimmer shade and i'm just going to go in with this with my finger actually blend it out afterwards so i'm gonna go back in with my brown shade that i used earlier and apply this on top of where we've just applied our gold towards the edge of the eye so that we can blend these colors in together and then using your blending brush just smooth that out and i'm just going in once again and just applying some gold now one of the other golds that i'm going to go in with my inglot loose shimmer pigment and honestly i absolutely love this and this is in the shade or number 63 so when i apply this i would go in with a flat brush on my flat brush, I spray my setting spray first. So this is the biggest trick, guys. Literally apply your applicator into your glitter and then very gently just apply this to your eyes. Now we need to go in with our eyeliner. I feel like when you apply glitter, you have to go in with eyeliner to just do the look justice. So I am going to use a liquid liner today. I will be going in with my NYX liquid liner. So I've just finished both of my eyes and I've done my liner. I'm gonna go and apply my lashes and do my base and then I will be back to complete the rest of the eye look. So stay tuned guys. So I've gone and completed my base and my eyelashes and this is how the look is looking together. Now to finish off the eyes, what I will be doing is firstly going with my Life Liner by Huda Beauty and I'll be using the soft um, pencil side and applying this to the outer corners of my eyes and then taking this on to the top part of my waterline also and the top part of my lid i've not worn a red lip in such a long time so it feels super 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 strange wearing a bright lip so now what i'm gonna do using my really soft precision brush i am literally just gonna blend this out onto the lower lash line Now I'm gonna go back in with a teeny hint of black from my Copper Spice palette and just apply this over this. Now we are gonna go back in with another precision brush. So I'm gonna use one of my smudging brushes and this time I'm gonna go in with a very light brown from the Copper Spice palette and apply this right underneath we've just diffused that line and i will show you how to blend that out now i'm going to go in with more of like a precision 
blending brush and then just blend this all the way underneath my eye. Now my under eyes are looking much more blended in than they were before. I am gonna go in with Comfort Zone from the Jaclyn Hill palette and apply this underneath my eye because I love this as a transition shade to the rest of my um, concealer. And I'm also just going to add, because I know that I've got black on the outer corners of my eyes, but I don't really want to make my eyes look closed off. So I'm just gonna go in with a nudie pink eye pencil and just apply this to my waterline. And that's just gonna help open my eyes up. Using my um, Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm going in with the shade Ride or Diamond and I'm getting a teeny bit onto my hand and now I'm going to apply this to my tear duct right here. Now the last thing that I want to do eyeliner wise is literally just create a point. Final, final, final step is to go in with lower mascara for your under eyes. So this is the finished look. And honestly, I am so excited with how the whole look has come together, especially with the red lips. I really hope you guys have enjoyed watching this. And if you have any comments or any suggestions of what you would like to see next, please don't forget to comment below and I will promise I will deliver. But thank you so much, guys. Until next time. Bye.